Hey guys, what's up? 46 application to view for you guys here. Um, this one's going to be reverting back to an older style. I'm going to be trying to make this video a little bit shorter, a little bit more quick to the point because a lot of people have been telling me my videos are getting too lengthy, getting too in depth with an application and I think you guys just want to see the basics and what each app is about. So that's what we're going to try out for this video. Leave me some uh, just feedback in the comments right down below here and you guys can tell me what you like about the video or what you don't like about it. So we're going to start this app review off with color change. <coughs> Pardon me. Color Change is a free app from the App Store, and it's pretty similar to Color Canvas or Color Splash. Um, those are the applications where you turn black and white photos into color. But taking these pictures, they stay in color, and you select a certain area of a picture or a photo, and then you change that to a different shading of color. Um, very simple idea. If you have an iPhone, you can take a photo. If you have an iPod Touch, you can select a photo. You uh, go from your photo albums, and I have a perfect example of here what I'm looking for. You can change the shading of this uh, of the device because sometimes as you guys notice some of these balls have different shadings uh, to them. Some of them are shinier, some of them are darker in areas. So what you can do is you can change the uh, shading and sensitivity. So by just being able to use the magic tool have the magic, should be able to select this entire ball, and there we go. Now the entire ball is changed to this color and I can change it to any color that I'd like it to be. So as you guys see, you can go in and just uh, sketch in those little parts with a, a paint tool. But really guys, it got most of it done. It got the majority of it done. It's a really cool feature. You can pretty much customize any color that you'd actually like to change it to. There's five different tools. Magic, which is what you just saw. Polygon, which allows you to change it to any polygon shape you'd like. Trace, which allows you to pretty much just draw an outside shape of what you want. Example, if I wanted to cut around the ball. Uh, paint will actually just allow you to just to pretty much use your fingers to paint over a surface. And eraser, which I'll show you right here, just erases anything that you've actually colored in. So the ball was originally red, and now it's getting back to red. And now we're back to red. <coughs> Pardon me, guys. So that's pretty much the entire app. Down at the bottom, you have the Go Back button, the different tools, the different colors, save, and then your settings, which you can go into. Very simple. Just a couple things you can actually tweak. Here's the magic sensitivity I was talking about earlier. Um, so if you have a shine in your object or different lights on a certain object, you can definitely up that. Anyway, guys, that's Color Change, a free app from the App Store. Next one that I have for you guys, uh, very similar to a previous app that I reviewed called Bowman. This one is called Archers, and the only difference between this and Bowman is that this is a little bit less gory, um, a tad easier, and it's also free, which is definitely a thumbs up to most of my users because I know a lot of you guys love those free apps. So from the main menu, guys, what we have here is Human vs. Human, Human vs. iPhone, practice and about. Uh, we'll go into Human vs. iPhone and I'll show you what it's about. The graphics are pretty phenomenal actually for such a simple application. Much better than Bowman actually I believe. So uh, what you do is you have the certain degrees like earlier where you pull back, let go, ah, a little bit high. So going now blue guy which is the computer he gets to go hit me right in the groin. Yay. Let's try 20. Come on. Alright, so I hit him by the heart. So what the cool thing about this app is, is that if you hit a guy in the foot and a guy in the head, you'll get a difference in health. So example, depending on where you hit the person on their body actually does determine how much damage you'll be delivering to their body. So here's their health at the bottom, which is pretty cool. I'll try and get a headshot on this next one, and we'll see if I can actually show you that a headshot might actually take him completely out. Or, you know what, I'll just miss completely somehow. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much the entire app. That is called Archers, a free app from the App Store. Very similar to Bowman, but it is free, so definitely go check that one out. No harm done there. Next one that I have for you guys, we're going to save this one. We'll go to Fly Must Die. Um, there's a computer game that I've played similar to this, and it's very simple style, guys. Very simple concept. Main menu, you have options, scores, end, which is what I'm already in right now, so I'll end that. Uh, end, and then you can go to resume. And what you do is you drag your chopsticks over a fly... Tap, and you squish flies, and it looks pretty easy. It is easy. It's definitely easy to beat the default score on this game, but um, it's still pretty fun to at least try once, especially because it is free. If this was paid, I definitely want to stay away from this because it's such a simple application. There's really not much that they uh, have here, not much content to actually keep yourself occupied with, but since it is free, it's definitely fun to at least mess around with for a while and at least try it because it's pretty original game style. I've never seen too much like it. Anyway, guys, that's Fly Must Die. That's pretty much all I'm going to show you for that app. Very simple gameplay. Not much I can really tell you about it. 
And guys, the last one that I have for you, I've been saving this till the end for this review. It is a computer classic game. It is one of my favorite computer classic games, one of the most addicting computer flash games I've seen. Balloons. And if you guys haven't heard of Balloons, I'll try and explain it the best I can. But pretty much the simplest way to explain it would be that you are a monkey out for vengeance against balloons. I don't know why, but you're a monkey floating on a platform and you have a certain amount of darts and your object is to use those darts to pop a set number of balloons on the screen. There's different power-up balloons, there's different obstacles that you're going to have to avoid. Very simple gameplay, guys. It is $2.99 though in the App Store, so it is paid. But... It's 50 levels included that are all original to the iPod and iPhone. So these aren't the levels that you're seeing on the computer games if you're a diehard fan. These are completely original levels. And yes, I've played all of them. They are different. Um, so they're definitely fun to play with. Definitely makes the iPod and iPhone feel like a, a bigger gaming device. It almost feels like the computer play. I think the controls for this are fantastically designed as well. So from the main menu, you have About, Help, Options, Can't Really Do Anything, Just Volumes and whatnot, and then Play. There's three different save slots. When I first saw it, I thought it was different like level packs, but it's really only for uh, three different users to play on the same device. These are all the same. Go into game one, which is mine, and I've got to level 46 out of 50 so far. But we'll show you uh, show you level two. Uh, let's see if I can find the different one. All right, this one shows pretty good with power-up balloons. If you guys can see right here, these two balloons right there have little spikes in them. So by hitting those spikes and releasing the spikes down, it will hit these balloons in here, which le which le like throws spikes, um, sharp needles everywhere. So these are spike balls and these are needles. And I just accidentally threw that. So what I need to do is hit this needle, pop everything, ball goes down. It's pretty hard to follow, but I'll try and find an easier level for you guys. Hold on a second. Alright, so here's a good one. These brown blocks are ones you can actually break just by simply hitting with an arrow, but the arrow will disappear. So now what I need to do is set a second arrow, hit those spikes, now everything will pop for me. Down at the bottom you have your level title, your number of darts, the amount that you've popped and the target that you need to pop to pass the level, and your best score. Very simple uh, design like that. Here's more power-ups and stuff. If I hit this right here, I just got three darts now, so now what I can do is throw three darts. There we go. Oh, I still have more darts. Oh, one more. Alright, so now I just got my uh, new best score, I believe. So pretty much, guys, that's the entire game, and it seems really simple at first, but let me get you to where I'm actually at right now in this game. Try to find a good one that I can actually explain. Alright, <clears throat> so these black blocks means that I need to bounce my arrow or dart off of it. So watch, they do bounce. Okay, so they bounce, but these silver uh, iron looking blocks, the arrow will stick to it. Watch right here. So that loses the entire level. So my object, I've already beat this level, so I'm going to explain it to you guys, so just show you how complicated this gets. I have one arrow. This balloon over here gives me an extra arrow. So what I need to do is bounce my one arrow already off of this, hit this green, it'll shoot back over, pop this balloon giving me an extra arrow and then with that extra arrow I need to shoot this yellow balloon bounce it off that black block and then make it so that the ricochet goes all the way above and hits this blue one and just explaining it sounds difficult you should see actually trying to actually accomplish this um, I was sitting in a waiting room for a doctor's appointment pretty much just playing this for probably 20 minutes okay so I got that Ah. So you're playing this game and the simple method of you to shoot an arrow is just pulling and using your finger to tilt up and down. Depending on how far you pull will actually um, determine how much uh, power you're going to apply to each dart. So it's pretty simple controls. It's definitely new and innovative just to the iPod and iPhone itself, which definitely keeps the game fun and interesting because it's different than the computer games, not only in levels but also in controls. So guys, that's pretty much all I'm going to show you guys for balloons. It is a $2.99 application download from the App Store. Definitely recommend it. Definitely going to get a high score for me just because it's such a classic computer game and this application completely lives up to the fun of it. Um, that's all I got for you guys in this video. I have quite a few more apps for you guys to review. As you guys just saw, that might have been a quick enough preview. Um, quite a few more to come for uh, probably later this week, actually, for a new uh, app review. That's all I have for you guys right now. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully the length was working for you. Have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, do you want a full list of every app that I've ever reviewed starting from app review number one? Go to my YouTube homepage and click the link under full list of applications. It'll give you a Word document including the title of an application, the pricing, and the rating. Hopefully this helps. I'll talk to you guys later.